I find that it is very important to listen to young people, to just listen. Often they need orientation and explanations about things that are difficult for them to understand. Things that might be difficult for me to understand too. But that is where the strength of the Spirit comes in. I'm a, a number one fan of the Holy Spirit. There are a lot of things that I don't understand either. Students ask me, Professor, do you understand this issue? Why does this or that happen? Why? And I tell them, look, there are many things that I don't understand either, but I trust. I continue to trust. I say, Lord, I don't understand this. I don't know why this is happening. The Lord knows best. I don't understand many things, but I trust in Him. So honestly, what's most important is the strength of the Holy Spirit and the Eucharist. By the Eucharist, I mean knowing that Jesus nourishes you from within. And that is truly essential. You cannot live without the Eucharist. You cannot do without the Eucharist. When the priest is consecrating at Mass, you are there just like the apostles at the Last Supper. And the Lord says to you, take and eat. He calls you by name. He says your name. That is amazing. The fact that the Lord calls you by name is something wonderful. We have to recognize the strength of prayer. Pray every day. Offer your day to the Lord. Offer Him everything that is going to turn out well. Offer it all to the Lord. I don't think that I was truly grateful for being a daughter of Mary until I myself became a mother. When I became a mother and had children, I began to understand many things about my mother. I began to understand my own mother and to realize how Our Lady is our mother. I began to appreciate everything a mother does for her child. A mother does everything and gives everything for her child. So when I became a mother, I began to love the Virgin Mary a lot. I reflect on what she must have felt, how much she suffered watching Jesus suffer. Then I look at my own children and think of having to see them suffer. The Virgin Mary was such a brave woman. She was extraordinary. She trusted in God and accepted His entire plan for her when she said yes to the Lord. Our Lady is an outstanding example. She is admirable and close to us. I began to feel her closer thanks to my mother, who taught me about the faith. I think faith is the greatest gift a person can receive. My mother taught me how to love Our Lady. She herself was in love with Our Lady. All of us have to carry our cross. Whether you have a specific moment of difficulty or you're just going through rough times, the cross is always there. We have to learn to embrace the cross and look towards heaven. God is never going to give you a cross that you cannot carry. He's always going to put a Simon the Cyrene on your path to help you carry your cross. The Lord will never ask something of you without giving you the means to pull through. That has happened to me. It happened several moments in my life and shows me that He is always there. He walks with you. So what can I say? Trust. Trust in Him. If you have to take up your cross, do so. But just trust. Trust. In my experience, and I'm sure I'm not the only one, sometimes it's hard to be Christian, to really have faith, and to do as much as we can. Sometimes we feel so small trying to follow Jesus. Sometimes people make it difficult. Nowadays, there are people who don't like the faith, and you feel sorry for them because they're not even capable of being respectful. We should be respectful even if others are not. So, turning the other cheek is an intelligent thing to do. Sometimes I think to myself, Jesus is so intelligent because turning the other cheek isn't being stupid. I remember a colleague once said to me, Jesus said that we're brothers, not cousins. We're not cousins and we're not stupid. Turning the other cheek isn't being stupid. 
It's presenting your heart. When you turn the other cheek, you make the world a better place. Don't enter into the vicious circle of, you did that, so I'll do this. Turning the other cheek always works. It has always worked for me. If someone, if someone treats me wrongly on whatever occasion for being a religion teacher, I turn the other cheek. The way I respond is treating them well. At a certain point, people give in when confronted with good. When they find love as your response, they give in. They end up giving in. Love is powerful. It's true that love can do all things. It's not just a nice sentence. Love can do everything. And you don't get tired because God is always there. God never gets tired. He supports us. Love can do everything. El amor lo puede todo.